Hi guys, it's Deb. Back with part two of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get to Work. I am so excited to be doing this LP. I have waited so long for this expansion pack and I cannot wait to see what all kinds of fun we can have and what all will happen next. In the last episode, Ethan joined the medical career and we are here with him at the hospital as he goes about his job. And it looks like he is going to mop up this puddle in this room that looks like an operating room or a labor and delivery room. And this contraption right here, whatever it's called, looks <laughs> extremely terrifying to me. I would hate to have to be put into one of these things. And here is this claw mechanism um, that goes in and pulls out the babies and pulls out people's organs when they have an operation. Um, yes, it just looks very, very scary to me. But we are going to let Ethan mop up this puddle. It looks like we're doing pretty good um, with our work today. Now he's going to go over and complain to one of his co-workers about the work. And you know, Ethan, um, he may be complaining, but he is really loving his job so far at the hospital. Yes, he is having to do grunt work at the moment, but that is all fine and well and good because he knows that it will all pay off in the end. And it looks like we've got some patients, new patients who have come in the front door. Don't know what is wrong with these people. Um, Sorry to see so many children coming into the hospital with aches and pains and illnesses. And I also found out today, um, well, actually, I don't know if it's true yet or not. I heard a rumor today that once you reach a certain level of the doctor career of, in the medical profession, that you become immune to illnesses. I guess from being around all of the germs, <laughs> your body builds up an immunity so you will not get sick like the other Sims. And I did not realize there were so many puddles in this hospital. I also did not realize that there's workout equipment here. So that is good to know because Ethan does want to improve his athletic skill. He does want to keep in shape because he will probably be eating out of that vending machine on quite a regular basis. And let's hope that we've got all of the puddles now. <laughs> we've done quite a few puzzles. Puddles. Okay, now he is chatting with his co-worker now. And he is going to go ahead, he's going to chat with a different patient. He's already chatted with Kinsley. He's going to come over and talk to Miss Mariah Fernandez. He's going to give her a funny introduction and try to make her feel a little bit better. And then we're going to try something new. We're going to try to... Oh, we're going to talk to her through the partition here. Okay. Uh, she must be really, really shy. And she doesn't want us coming too close to her. Either that or Ethan is afraid that she is highly contagious. <laughs> I don't know. He needs to deliver food to her. Um, however, we're going to see what happens when he examines. We're going to discuss her general health and just see what happens. And he does need to wash his hands, I guess, really, before he touches her. So um, I guess the closest sink is the one in the break room, maybe? which does not make sense. There really should be sinks in all the examination rooms. And I'm probably going to do that. Um, I don't know if you have to be on uh, the particular lot to edit it. I know that there is a cheat to edit lots. And um, you know what? It might be interesting right now just to find out if we can edit this lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for just a second. I'm going to go find out what the cheat is, and then I'll be right back, and we'll just see if we can... Well, you know what? Yeah, we have to have a cheat. Um, you cannot modify a lot while, you're, while your sim is working. So I guess that's not going to work after all. Oh, well. Um, it was a good idea. Too bad it did not work. Okay. So we're going to go over into the break room really fast and let him wash his hands, 
so that he does not spread any germs to this little girl. She does not need to be made any sicker than what she already is. So let's go, Ethan. Let's get those hands washed. <laughs> and when he gets finished washing your hands, he's going to... Um, He's going to treat Bloaty Head with a shot, and we're going to see what that looks like. She has a Bloaty Head. What is a Bloaty Head, I wonder? Her head looks fine to me. <laughs> oh, she looks so sad. Look at her sad little face. Oh, I feel so sorry for her. Oh, I see that pain radiating off her head. She must have a fever. Well, let's see Dr. Ethan treat her with a shot. And Ethan has given her a shot, and maybe she ah, feels okay. all better now. Patient is cured. The vaccine for Mariah Fernandez was successful, and her illness treated. Ethan correctly diagnosed the issue, improving his job performance. Well, that is wonderful. Now, let's, uh, we need to deliver someone some food. So, we will go ahead and deliver some food um, to her. I didn't know you could ask them to leave. Why would we want to ask a patient to leave? I don't know. Um, and it looks like we are doing really good um, in our job performance today. And let's see. Um, I would have thought that the, that the game would have generated a few more co-workers. But I don't see any more co-workers that we can really chat with. Uh, we could chat with the receptionist. But she looks awfully busy. Uh, we're going to chat with her anyway. We are going to give her a friendly introduction because we have not even met this woman. And she looks like she has been working really hard, taking care of all of these patients, checking them in, finding out what their symptoms are, and letting the doctors know so that they can be treated. Tag, tag. Okay, and we have talked to her, and this guy, uh, let's see if we can do anything with these little children. Let's admit this patient to the exam room and see if we can find out what is wrong with him. Can we do that? Let's go see if we can. And we're saying hello to this little child, and I feel so sorry for the little children. He looks so sad. He's walking so sadly. And we'll just find out um, if we can help this little boy. His name is Maximus Aquino. Okay, now. Oh, and look at his cute little pajamas with the little soccer balls. We're going to go ahead and examine this patient. We're going to take his temperature. Oh, he has got a rash of some kind. Ethan has successfully performed a practice examination on a patient. The test results seem valid, but the specific data is a bit over his head and will be passed along to a physician for diagnosis. It was a good learning experience, though. And you can see he definitely has some type of rash, some type of circular red dots on his face. And let's just see if there's anything else that we can do for him. We can discuss his general health. And then we're going to go over here and make this bed really fast. And we're going to ask about Nurse Daniela's day and see if she's been having a good day or not. And after we do that, um... We're going to need to sterilize our hands again, and yes, I'm definitely going to have to put sinks in these exam rooms. Okay, here is a sink. We will sterilize our hands here. After we do that, we're going to see if we can um, diagnose this little girl, Kinsley. We're going to examine her and discuss her general health. It looks like someone has already taken her temperature. Okay, so that's good, and then we are going to bring some food to poor little Maximus. Yes, we are. Okay, and Ethan is having a fantastic day. His day um, is almost over. It looks like he's got two hours and 36 minutes left in his work day. And how is he, and he is doing fantastic as far as his needs go. He is just loving this job. He is sailing through it with flying colors. 
and he would like to grab a snack, but he's not hungry right now, so he's not going to do that. Um, did we not deliver food to poor Maximus? I don't think we did. Let's deliver him some food because I think this little boy is feeling quite hungry. Yes, I do. And Ethan really has enjoyed meeting his co-workers today. He really likes them. They both seem extremely nice. And look at all these patients who have come in the door today. Um, Ethan is going to go ahead and chat uh, with the receptionist. He's going to tell her a joke about ducks because she looks a little harried, a little overworked, and he's feeling a little bit sorry for her. <laughs> look at her banging on that keyboard. Oh, and look who it is. Okay, va, 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 boom. It is Miss Laura Donahue. He is going to admit Miss Laura to the examination bed. And Laura's feeling very, very uncomfortable. Yes, she is. And he's like, poor Laura, I can fix what ails you. And, you know, this is just a guess, guys. Um, but I would not be surprised at all whatsoever if Miss Laura Donahue is faking this illness just so she could get in and be examined by Dr. Ethan. Because Laura thinks Dr. Ethan is extremely hot. <laughs> and he's going to take her temperature. And he thinks she is hot as well. Ethan has successfully performed a practice examination on a patient. And the, uh, the test results will be passed along. And let's just see. Uh, he's going to discuss her general health. And he's probably just going to... Um, chat her up a little bit. He's going to ask about her career and find out if she is employed and if so, in what career? And let's just see. Is she going to tell us? Um. Okay, here we go. And what was her answer? We don't know, but we're going to find out. She is unemployed at the moment. Well, that's okay. We don't judge. <laughs> He's going to um, discuss interests with her, and he's going to brighten her day and try to get her to feel just a little bit better. And then Ethan is going to have to get back to work. He doesn't need to be spending all of his time chatting up the ladies as much as he would like to. And Ethan has acquired the charisma skill, and Ethan is outgoing. He likes to socialize a lot. And he will be doing a lot of socializing with the ladies. Okay. Um, he needs to go over here. This object does not need to be cleaned. Okay. What about this one? Okay. Well, we're supposed to make a bed. But I don't see a bed to make. I don't think these are makeable. No. <laughs> makeable, that's not even a word. Um, I don't see any more exam rooms anywhere. So, he'll have to wait, I guess, until one of these uh, patients gets up before he can make a bed. But he can go ahead and talk to Danielle a little bit more. He's going to just um, discuss work with her. Then he's going to head over back up front and see if he can admit some more patients into the hospital. And yes, Ethan does have a soft spot for the children, so he is going to attend to their needs first. I know that's probably not fair, but um, he really thinks that, you know, the children are more susceptible to diseases. They cannot fight off diseases quite as well. Um, so, you know, he wants Please. to make sure that he gets them seen as soon as possible. So he's going to go ahead and let this little boy, this little boy's name is Connor. He's going to go ahead and admit Connor to the hospital. And here we go. And it looks like our time is almost up. And why are you coming in here to admit Connor to the hospital? 
Connor can. Oh. So I guess this little boy will be moving to. I don't know. I don't know why he made that little boy get up. No idea. Uh, but we're going to admit little Connor to the hospital um, and find out if we can help Mr. Connor. Let's just see. We're going to examine him as well, take his temperature, and discuss his general health with him. And Ethan's workday will end in one hour. So he's just going to uh, wrap things up here. I guess he can go ahead and make the bed that Maximilian... Was his name Maximilian? Maximus. He's going to go ahead and make this bed that Maximus was in. So he can get that um, out of the way. And is he hungry? He's not hungry, so he's just going to wait until he gets home to grab a snack. He's done a really good job today at his job. He uh, has worked really hard. Um, I don't see any more children here. I guess someone else... Did someone else admit that other child? I guess that other child must have gone home. I don't know. There was another child here. Don't see them. Let's see who all is here in the hospital. And he can just chat uh, with the, the um, receptionist a little bit. He can tell a not suitable for work joke. <laughs> Why not? And let's see who we have here. This is Lacey Norris. This is Miles Thurman. This is Walter Will. And this is Colton. I'm not sure how you pronounce Colton's last name. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can admit Colton into the hospital really fast before our day ends. Our day is almost over. And who is this that just walked in the door? Mama Mia. <laughs> this guy looks pretty good. Who is he? His name is Brad Chambers. Okay, all right. Um... Now, Ethan is, I don't know why he keeps walking to this first bed. He makes that little kid get up. Okay, well, that's all right. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and see if he can, oop, see if he can examine and um, discuss. Oh, no, what happened? That was, <laughs> Ethan stuck a pen in his mouth, I think, instead of a thermometer. Either that or the, the thermometer shocked him. I guess it was a thermometer. The thermometer keeps shocking this poor guy. Oh, no. That's not good at all. Let's try it one more time. Okay, we got it that time. That is good. <laughs> poor guy. Poor Colton. Um... Okay, do we need to... Let's talk to this poor little Maximus and see what he's doing. See why he feels so sad. He feels so terrible. He's been kicked out of his bed. Um, okay, we're going to... Can he... Does He doesn't need any food or anything, right? He does. We'll deliver him some food. Really fast before our work day is over. End of shift. Ethan did a fantastic job today. Promotions and community health are surely in the future. And he has earned 188 simoleons today. So he will be leaving work now. And Ethan is thinking that tonight might be a great night to go out and hit the town with the girls go out to a nightclub and just chat with them and find out how their day was today. And it looks like um, Jordan is still at work. What time does Jordan come home? Jordan gets off at work at 5 o'clock, and it is 3 now. Let's just see where Shauna is. Shauna is still in her pajamas. <laughs> really, Shauna? <laughs> I mean, come on. I know that you don't have an actual career yet. You know, you, you are trying to become a professional photographer. But, girl, do not sit around in your undies all day. <laughs> you, 
You don't want to be in your undies when Ethan comes home. I know you want to get to know him, and he is not going to want to be friends with a lazy sim who sits around in her underwear all day. <laughs> Ethan's going to go ahead and chat with Shauna a little bit. Um, he's going to tell her a joke about monkeys and just talk with her and see how her day went. He wants to chat with Kenzie. He wants to hug someone, and he wants to become confident. Well, I don't think he's going to hug Shauna just yet. I don't think he feels that it would quite be appropriate at this time because, um, you know, they don't know each other quite well enough, I don't think. Let's just look at their relationship bar. Um, yeah, they are building a pretty good relationship. However, he thinks that would be pushing it a little bit far to go in for a hug at this moment. And what does Shauna want? I thought Shauna had some wants that she had pinned. Uh, we must have done whatever it was that she wanted. We're not going to buy a toy. Uh, she wants to become inspired. She wants to chat with Ethan. We are doing that now. And she wants to dance to stereo music. Well, Ethan is going to go ahead. Um, Ethan has learned that Shauna is creative. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let Ethan change clothes. He's going to go ahead and change into his everyday. And they're going to go out and get at the club. And at 5 o'clock, when Jordan comes home, she will join them at the club. Ethan will call her and, and say, um, you know, Shauna and I are going to go hit up the club. Why don't you meet us there? So that's what they're going to do. And we are going to go over into Oasis Springs. And I have downloaded some venues from the gallery. We could go to the Tiki Bar. This item was downloaded from the gallery. We could go to the Liquid Kitty Nightclub, <laughs> which was downloaded uh, from the gallery. Or the Beatbox, which I downloaded. Because it's fairly early in the day, uh, you know what? Let's just let's just go to the Liquid Kitty nightclub. It's okay that it's not that late. That's where we're going going to go because Shauna wants to dance. So we're gonna let Shauna do some dancing and um, see what all kinds of fun we can have and see if perhaps there are some nice sims that we can meet out here at the nightclub. Okay, here we are at the Liquid Kitty. And we'll just see. Let's just look at this venue really quick. I'm not sure who uh, built this venue, but it is available on the Sims Gallery. And I found it by searching um, favorite downloads within the last seven days, I think is how I found it. But here it is, um, and it looks quite nice. So we're just going to go inside and see if we can't get a drink. And there are some Sims in here that we can meet. He is going to um, order a drink. And I wish that he could order a drink for Shauna, but I guess he can't. He is going to order a Ridgeport. And Shauna will come in uh, also. She's going to order... How about... She wants a Zebra Fizz. How about that? And let's just see how Shauna's doing. Shauna's doing good. And Ethan is doing good. So they're just going to get their drinks. And let's see if there is, there is a stereo. So that Shauna can dance. And let's just see who all is here. This lady's name is Caitlin Mead. And she looks quite pretty. So Ethan will want to meet her. And this person's name is... <laughs> Rick Dupree. Dupree or Dupree? Dupree or Dupree? I don't know. Uh -huh. One of the other. So, uh, we're going to let the Sims meet them. Ethan is going to um, give this lady a... F Do we already know her? Oh, I think he met her um, earlier somewhere. But he's going to brighten her day and kind of get to know her a little bit. And see, you know, what she's all about. See if she's a nice person. And Shauna's going to come over and meet what, Rick. 
And it looks like Rick um, is not feeling all that great. But Ethan has learned that Caitlin is family oriented. And what is wrong with poor Rick? He just looks really down in the dumps. Um, so she's going to come over and see if she can cheer him up just a little bit. She's going to ask about his career first of all. Let's see if she can cheer him up. Um, she's learned that he is unemployed. I don't see anything about cheering up, but she's going to brighten his day. And she's going to walk over here because she doesn't need to be sitting um, at the bar talking to him from five feet away. I really don't think she should. Um, and, you know, she might ask him to dance, maybe, with her. Let's see if we can. Um... She's going to ask him if he would like to dance. And she thinks that Rick is an okay looking guy. Um, she doesn't really feel a super strong attraction to him or anything. Uh, but she does think that he is okay. You know, and he seems like he is a nice sim. <clears throat> And let's just see um, what Ethan is doing. Ethan looks like he's having a very nice discussion with Caitlin. And he seems to think that Caitlin is a really nice girl. And let's just see. Um, it looks like Caitlin's just wanting to get up. So it looks like Ethan is going to go over and join the others and do a little dancing. And I wish some more Sims would join us here at the club. And we may do a little bit of bar hopping tonight. Um, go from place to place a little bit and just see what's what and see if we can find the hot places to go. Of course, now it is only 4.30. Um, you know, so a lot of Sims are probably still at work, just like Jordan Presley is. And we will be following Jordan to work tomorrow at the police station and finding out uh, what her life is like as a detective with the police force. The police force? Really? <laughs> with the police force. Yes, police force. And Ethan, um, Ethan doesn't really look like he's all that into dancing right now. Has he met this guy? Uh, he's going to give Rick a friendly introduction, and Rick is just getting on down. Yes, he is. <laughs> um, and Ethan is thinking about furniture. Maybe he's thinking about redecorating. I don't know. But he's just going to chat with Rick for just a little while. And he's also going to um, dance with Shauna. How about that? And... Um, Okay, is that what Dancing with Shauna looks like? Look at him! <laughs> I'm surprised at his dance moves. Yes, I am. But they seem to be having a fairly good time and a fairly good conversation. It is almost 5 o'clock, and where is Miss Shauna going? Shauna's going over to order herself a drink. And Ethan is just having a really good time talking to Rick. And how is um, Jordan doing at work? Okay, Jordan is at home. So we are going to bring Jordan Presley here. What a day of work. Jordan is back home and she has earned 180 simoleons. Good job, Jordan. Okay. Um, is she here yet? I click bring her here. Is that Jordan coming in? That doesn't really... Oh, I guess Jordan is wearing her out her um, uniform. Let's look at Jordan in her uniform. Look at her. She looks fantastic in this uniform. Let's just see if we can get kind of a closer look at her. <laughs> Not doing really well on my camera skills today. I apologize for that. Um, I have my mouse in a different location today, and I've got to get used to it. I had to move my microphone. Um, long story, but my desk had to be reorganized. But there is Miss Jordan 
in her police uniform and she looks wonderful okay now jordan is quite hungry and i don't know if there's anything to eat here but let's just go upstairs and find out i don't think that there's anything here for them to eat however uh wait a minute there is something for her to eat uh, it looks like there's a full kitchen up here. Good job, whoever made this venue, to think of doing that. Um, we're going to let Jordan... She's going, going to go ahead and serve dinner. She's going to serve some grilled cheese sandwiches for her friends. And to my knowledge, Jordan has never cooked before. <laughs> so... Um, I don't know how this grilled cheese will turn out. Will she burn it? I hope not. <laughs> there she goes. And let's hope she does not catch this venue on fire. That would be terrible. Okay, there we go. Um, she's going to eat her grilled cheese. Let's see how the others are doing. Shauna needs to go to the bathroom, so we'll let her do that. And everybody else, uh, they're doing quite well. I don't know if we can put these in the refrigerator. We will let um, Jordan put them up after she finishes her meal. And she is going downstairs so that she can eat with her friends. Maybe. No, she, it looks like she's going to eat at the bar, which is wonderful. Okay, well, I'm going to have to end this part right here, guys. But I want to thank you all so very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope you are enjoying this Get to Work LP so far. I hope you are as excited as I am to have a brand new expansion pack. But if you are enjoying the episode, let, or if you did enjoy the episode, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know what you would like to see in this LP. And if you are enjoying it, please leave me a like and please subscribe. I'll see you next time.